You probably don't want to consider famous movie director Michael Bay's reaction to technical difficulties at the CES Samson conference as your model. In case you missed the news clips on Twitter comments, our Twitter comments on this incident a few weeks ago, you might want to click the link below and take a look at what happened. Although almost everyone who's delivered a management briefing, a sales presentation, a training course, an industry talk, or a keynote address can certainly identify with his frustration over technical glitches, running off the stage is probably not what you envision for your 15 minutes of fame. If such hiccups haven't happened to you and you're regularly doing presentation, it's only a matter of time. You want to take extra caution and plan what to do beforehand. With a brand new computer, for example, with unusual programs, widgets, pop-ups, they, they often come pre-installed and they can create havoc with older files. Or you may have difficulties with another user when that person has changed some settings on your computer or your tablet and they, quote, forgot to tell you and they never changed them back. Or here's another situation that happens frequently. You're in another environment, a different projector, different cables, lighting, distance, remote control, speakers, second monitor, all those things can create problems. A new laptop with Windows 8 recently gave me fits when it locked up an hour before the start of the client presentation. That incident once again brought to mind some following tips for dealing with those frustrations. So here are my tips. Arrive early. Always, always, always. I consider myself late for a presentation if I'm not in the room working with the AV at least an hour early. Another tip, double check all the AV equipment. My first task upon arrival is set up the laptop and make sure that everything projects well. Play the video clips, check the audience mic, does the extension card just reach to the outlet? Glitches I fortunately found in time at such a late date. Dead extension card, just no power. The screen available, but the switch is not working to lower the screen from the ceiling. Another tip, have backup copies of all your slides, your handouts, any promotional materials, brochures you intend to hand out. Professional speakers, of course, understand this. But even as a sales professional, carry your presentation on a flash drive just in case you arrive at the client's site and you need to use their laptop for some reason. Or be ready to download your slides from the cloud. On two such occasions, that's been the case for me. One client had a security policy when I showed up at the, the uh, entrance. They said, sorry, it's a policy you can't bring your laptop in. In another client situation, their projection system was incompatible with my laptop. And they asked, well, where's your flash drive? We'll just put it on our system. So always assume that for some reason your laptop or your tablet or your iPad just won't work or they won't let it in the door. Another tip, have saver lines, something you say in other words, for those technical glitches or problems that are out of your control. If you need some saver lines, some witty comment, humorous comment to fill in, you might want to see my book, check, uh, check out the book, Speak with Confidence, Powerful Presentations Tips, or Powerful Presentations, I forgot the, the title, the subtitle of my book, Powerful Presentations That Inform, Inspire, and Persuade. Pick that up, and it will give you some for different te uh, problems, technological problems that develop. Another tip. Be prepared to deliver your presentation when there is no AV support. Plan for the worst. Know how you'll deliver your sales presentation or your industry talk with just no slides at all. If you have to just talk through or walk through the presentation from a handout, from a script, or no help whatsoever. And above all, stay calm. You're human. The audience has empathy. They want you to do a good job. They want you to win. Remember that others will remember your composure far longer than your course corrections during the chaos.